Alksar talked about intuition earlier, and I shut my intuition down um, as a young child because I was saying things that normal society didn't like. And my question is, as I open those channels back up, how do I better trust what I'm feeling? It comes about through experience. And you move from trusting, which is hoping that what's coming through is really coming through and not your mind. Trusting is not knowing, but hoping, wanting to be the energy coming through. But once it starts to come through, you start to feel the difference. And then it's not trust anymore. You know. And so, with every new step, trust is involved. And then there's a certain point when you don't need to trust anymore because you simply know this is the energy flowing. At the beginning, when I started to channel Alcazar, I had to trust. And I would sit and relax and invite him in and try and get my mind out of the way. This took a long time. But now I know it's real. And so I can be talking and then now because I just takes over. And I know it's him now. So I don't have to trust anymore. One of the things I do have to trust, however, is some of the things that he says. <laughs> because sometimes he'll say something and my mind is going, Really? You sure that's right? But the beautiful thing is that working with Alcazar, if I have doubt, he'll find a way of demonstrating the reality of it. And so that's something, if you're working with guides and it's kind of new to you, ask for demonstrations. Don't tell them what you want them to do in order to demonstrate it. Just ask for demonstration. And you'll be surprised. Okay, thank you. Hey, also, if this is something that you had access to as a young child, yeah? Well, bring your inner child to be with you. Have you been doing that? Work, but I have... I've done a lot of inner child work, but I haven't brought her with me in those situations. I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. If we turn it down, it shouldn't do that so much. There's the super conscious inner child, and there's the human inner child. And Alcazar has made a distinction between those because when we're children, we're still super connected to source, to spirit. It's where we've just come from. And then the, the impacts, the family life, the kind of prison of being here kind of really like kicks in and, and those wounds go deep. So when, with what you're talking about, it's really a reawakening of your sensitivity. And that goes far beyond uh, the kind of intuition that's trying to know something or be omniscient or prescient about like kind of mental spaces. It's, uh, it's also a kind of shedding of those layers of shutdown so that you can reclaim a kind of radiance. So I would say like focus on the radiance also and let the little one guide you. I felt, I felt my inner child come in after lunch and she was like, you eat till you're too full and your tummy can't handle it. And I was like, that is such a good point. <laughs> but it's like, I really, like somehow it just slipped in and I really felt that she can guide me. And I'm like, I'm so for it. I think when we're ready for these, these phases, it won't always be working with the little one in this way, but that is one of the most powerful ways to reconnect to that sensitivity. Thank you. Yeah.